Mr. President, we are concerned over the emergence of a new form of racism characterized by xenophobia, negative, negative profiling and stereotyping of Muslims. This is manifested in an alarming trend of hatred, intolerance and acts of violence against Muslims and their sanctities. We are appalled by the legitimization of these acts under the feeble defense of human rights. Quran burnings are nothing but a clear Islamophobic act intended to incite hatred. Inaction in the face of such blatant provocation to a religion is simply irresponsible and sends a dangerous message to humanity. We must embody the values of acceptance, tolerance and mutual respect. We must promote intercultural, inter civilization and inter-religious understanding and cooperation. We must unite our faith in common cause to promote understanding and goodwill amongst our peoples and strengthen peace and harmony among nations. Mr. President, these are indeed tall orders, but that is the very reason we are here. I truly believe that no challenge, however formidable, is insurmountable if we secure the collective commitment of this global community, the member states of this August institution. What we need is trust and the conviction to make the world a better place. The will, the will to work together on a platform of consensus and solidarity.